This video is to demonstrate the integration between Eleanor PMS and Xero, the popular accounting software. Here we have a uh, Xero account which has been synced to the Eleanor demo account. We can see here that it is mapped. And what's been mapped is um, tax rates. Uh, departments to accounts, so departments uh, to accounts in zero, and also payments. So let's take you through some examples. I'll lead by looking in zero. We'll go through different types of examples, and uh, we'll then look at um, uh, some other information that, that goes across by the integration. So start here with um, uh, with four nine nine, um, which is um, a simple invoice which is a taxi to an airport so this is showing an auxiliary or an, uh, um, an add-on or an additional charge that's been uh, taken throughout this we're going to be showing different tax rates um, different types of uh, payment etc so here um, we've got uh, an invoice for 100 pounds we've got the contact information the invoice number and if we look down here we can see the history which shows what's happened so it's been sent through uh, from Eleanor to uh, to zero, and it's also been confirmed as being paid. So let's look at this invoice in Eleanor. So same guest, same amount, and we can see here that it was indeed paid and it was processed online, and that was the. Um, the time. This one's been allocated into the booking department, but of course it could have been allocated into a different department. That's the choice of the uh, of the person who's processing the charge or the invoice at the time. Uh, let's look at a couple more examples. Here we'll look at the invoice uh, ending 498 for 3000. This invoice um, is for um, an interval period on accommodation, so for the period of July. Again, we've got the invoice number, the contact information. Um, the, um, the VAT rate is 12%, but it's actually uh, VAT exempt. So let's have a look at this um, in Eleanor and see why that is. Before we do that, we'll just check the history so we can see what the updates were on it because it's confirmed as paid. So payments being received in full from the, uh, the guest in this instance and when it was received. Let's look at uh, this 498 in Eleanor. This invoice here, 498, sits under the charge statement in Eleanor for the reservation. So we can see we can go and look at all the charges. If I go back into that particular invoice, VAT is at 0%, so let's just see why that is, because obviously it would normally be 12.5%. That's because it's a VAT exempt property. So that's demonstrating there that um, Eleanor is calculating the VAT should be zero because the property um, has zero VAT and has calculated that correctly. And the payment in this instance has been told being paid by cash and the hand of the person has done that. So there's another example. Let's look at a third example. Let's pick another one from the list. Uh, here we've got a different guest, Mike Morris. So we go through and look here. Oh, it's another um, auxiliary, it looks like damages, um, broken TV and fitting of TV. So the guest has damaged something. We've got a different VAT rate here, uh, 20%. So let's have a look at the history of this one. So payments been received in full for that amount. Let's go and have a look in Eleanor at this one. So let's just copy this invoice number. There's the invoice number synced over from Eleanor. So again, we can see it's been paid. So they tally. Got the two different lines there which the same coming across, that's correct. And it's been paid by a deposit. So 
that was paid by deposit with LLS of money that's been collected. So, for example, there could have been a, um, a deposit was held to be used specifically against damage deposits against damages before the rest of the uh, deposit was refunded. Uh, let's look at another example. So here, 501, we can see that's a credit note. So let's have a look at this credit note here. Oh, so it's a goodwill credit, which has been um, uh, generated. And that's also been used in Eleanor. So let's see... Um, how that was used, we can see here there's credit that's been applied to this because of the arrow. So let's look at 502. Again, it's an interval invoice. We can see that a credit 500 was used, that's linked, and also there was a payment for 2500. If we look at the history, so there was an amount that's credited on the 20th of June. Uh, in this case, uh, and then there was also the remaining balance that was paid 2,500. Let's have a look at this invoice in Eleanor. So if we look down, same guest, Stay periods is the same. The uh, here, this is the, the the period of the stay. This is the reservation uh, duration. So we can see that 2,500 was processed online, and uh, so through the payment gateway, connected and charged, and uh, 500 was paid by credit note. So that tallies up. This is also VAT exempt because it's still on a VAT exempt property. It's from the same reservation. As before, so you can see that one's still that exempt. And let's look at um, one more example in zero. Here, just to show a company and one that's not paid. So this invoice is synced across. This one's ending 474, so it's the same. The invoices I'm coming from over from Eleanor. Here, this is actually a company profile that's synced across. Eleanor stores guests and companies, and in Eleanor, you can have charges that go to a company. Um, charges and invoices that go to company but also charges and invoices that go to guests and you can run uh, two different um, ledgers uh, for, for that so um, a charge statement for the guest and a charge statement for the company you can determine which charges so in this case zero has received the company information because the invoice is being billed to the company and this one hasn't been paid um, now let's just have a look at um, how the search in element and um, in uh, zero will match up. So if we look for this guest, this imaginary guest, I should say, because this is all demo information. So we've got Laney Keller. Uh, here we've got a postcode, no mobile number. Um, <clears throat> we can click through to see that, you know, to, to edit the guest or to look at the guest in full. And if we look in zero to see what information from the guest has come across, we could find it in different ways. I'm just going to search for the guest here. So here we've got a normal statement of the guest's um, account. And here we can see there's, this is what's synced from Eleanor. It's created the profile in zero. The name, the email address, phone number, a unique contact code as well, which is a code from Eleanor. And also um, the address. So let's just have a look at those things in Eleanor. So you've got the mobile number ending 55. Five. Yep, ending 55. Five. You've also got the email address. That's come across correctly. The name of the guest and the address information as well, which is stored here. The billing information. And so that information will always come across and then um, 
that creates the um, the contact in zero. Um, just a bit of further information. Um, you can how to to get the mapping right. Our team will obviously have always help with this. In LNE, you need to, need to have the rights to be able to do this mapping. You can click Edit Mapping. And then, you know, in LNE, you can create different tax rates. So this system happens to have these tax rates that have been created over time. And we've then selected what there is in zero to map it to. Where you create different tax rates in LNE is under Accounts and then Advanced. And here, for example, I've created 12.5 and 2.5 for accommodation. And I can just add a new tax rate if that's what I need to do. You can also use chart of accounts to be able to map the, uh, to create anything that you require for um, accounts, mapping departments in Eleanor to accounts. So in Eleanor you have departments. If you want to add a new department, then anyone that's a settings manager is able to do that under the finance section. Here you have a department administration so you can add different departments and choose the correct VAT level. And that will mean that when you're um, actually creating an, an invoice in um, Elena or a charge, you can make sure that goes to the right department, either through automation or manually. Let's just look at the rest of the mapping. So here we've mapped um, the departments, which obviously you can create in LNR, to the accounts in zero. And if I look in zero here, currently I've got sales and other revenue, and you can indeed add a new account. You also need to go to the accounts that you're mapping and enable payments to that account so that they can be received because payments are mapped down here. And you have different payment types which are available in Eleanor and they are managed in the master. Um, uh, settings and you can uh, have as many as you need. Um, thank you very much for watching this video. Uh, it's been to explain how the integration between Eleanor and uh, Zero works so you can understand the flow and obviously you can save a lot of time with your invoices and payments f flowing over. Also credit invoices, partial payments, mapping, hopefully we've explained it well. Thank you very much for watching.